We got it. All right, shall I want to the one? Oh, no, it's a Habakkuk. Oh, oh, sorry. Habakkuk 2 and 3. Sorry. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But God's with people here for back. Got the brother Kabad, got the brother Ara, got the brother Naquan, got the brother Hawad. Lord, what this lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. The vision, aka the prophecies, are speaking loud and clear. They're pretty much jumping off the pages. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're pretty much in the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Just um, just um, pretty much did the Passover. Got an eclipse coming. You got people eating. Um, look, man, it's, it's, it's really going down, man. You mm -hmm. see? Got somebody on the, on the corner eating somebody's leg. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, cannibalism <laughs> going on. Man, just look, man. All the signs in heaven, man. You got more chariot sightings. Right. Everything's going digital, chaos, violence. The prophecies are speaking loud and clear, man. Mm -hmm. People getting sea hipped up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, and they're, and they're, um, they're able to um, control their element, their arms and stuff mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> hey, man, it, it's really going down in storms, floods, X marks the spot, and anything mm -hmm. brothers can think of, but the prophecies of the vision speaking loud and clear. Mm -hmm. We're at the end. The Lord said, when you see these signs, just know um, I'm about to come. Right. You see? Yeah. Read it one more time, bro. Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, they all come in their perspective order, just like the prophecies. Yeah, of course, we want certain things to happen quick and fast, but everything is for an appointed time. We can't rush summer. Mm -hmm. We can't rush spring. Mm -hmm. Can't rush our winter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though we want to look like a summer come, we want winter to come. Cool it down, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, winter come, we want summer to come. Heat it up, you know what I'm saying? Know, right? Just like these prophecies, we want them to come, we want the Lord to come. But everything is for an appointed time, you see? Mm -hmm. If I can say the best dinner is, is when you take your time. The Lord letting yeah. it marinate, you know, mm -hmm. and this, this destruction marinate and let these people sit in it, man. That's before right. You take them out. That's right, bro. It says... Right. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And yeah, now it's speaking now. Now it's jumping off the pages now. We're starting to see it more clearer now. We we're seeing it first, but now we're seeing it more clearer now. Mm -hmm. That we we're truly at the end. With all these different wars popping off, this nation against that nation. Oh, yeah. Um, you got hyperinflation yep. kicking in. Um, uproars of the people. Dollar Pe stores. Like, What's that say, bro? Dollar stores shutting down. A thousand of them, right? Right. Yeah. Dollar, dollar tree, stores. a thousand dollar trees, bro. That's how you know this place is done. Yeah. When you can't keep a dollar tree open, and everybody, every time I ride past a dollar tree, it's packed. Yeah. So why is that store closing? It's all by design, man. You see? Yeah. Why Home Depot ain't closing? I know, right? Why um, Lowe's ain't closing? <laughs> Shit, Dollar Tree, right. that store right there is booming. But that let you know right there, you know what I'm saying? The forecast, you know what I'm saying? How it's starting to look now. Yep, yep. People are losing it. Oh, yeah, people complaining about they can't pay rent. Yep, yep. That's all part of the vision right there, man. The love of many wax and coal, all part of the vision. It's speaking yep. loud and clear. It's ju actually jumping off the pages. You got it. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it seems like it's taking a long time for everything to really kick in and boom off, wait for it. Though it tarry, though it seems like it's taking a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It would not tarry. All right. Don't go back into the world just because you ain't seeing certain things happen. The Lord ain't came, you know what I'm saying, in, in the time that you wanted him to. So now let me go back into the world. You don't believe no more. No, man. Everything is happening exactly how the Lord want to happen. Mm -hmm. Everything for an appointed time. The Lord said, you look, just wait. It's going to come. Just like in the time of Noah. That that flood was tearing mm -hmm. for 120 years. But it eventually came. And then not all the non-believers got deleted, right? Everybody that didn't believe in the vision, you know what I'm saying, eventually got deleted, right? Right. So the Lord, like, yo, the vision is taking its time, you know what I'm saying, but it's, 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 it's running its course. Right. And just wait on it, you know what I'm saying? And while you wait, you know what I'm saying, you're going to see all these things happen at the same time. Until, until that big bango comes, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That boom, 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 boom. You see? So we're just sitting back waiting, and at the same time, we're prophesying. Yeah. It's on y'all. That's right. I got one. I got one on my team, brother. This is um, Sirach 39 and 1. Is but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all ancient 
and be occupied in prophecies. Because that's what it's about in these times that we're living in. All right, it's not it's not about seeing what we're missing back in the world. What can we what can we go back to? You know, if I if I get a Lord this time, I can go back and and you know catch up on my career. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we uh, a true prophet mm -hmm. is, is is in the mindset, all right, of being um occupied in the meditation of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Going back to the Habakkuk, because though it tarry, all right, we supposed to be waiting for it because it's going to surely come to pass. Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> oh yeah, that word occupied goes to being busy too, yep. yeah. being active. active. Mm -hmm. So we can't just be sitting around like a damn bump on a log. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not doing nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? Still got to be prophesying. Mm -hmm. You see, occupied in prophecy. Like you said, we still got to work and all that, but we're still occupied in prophecy. Yep. Since I said we're supposed to be watching. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to be watching the press. So we we constantly we always watching, man, That's to right. see what's going on. We know a whole lot went down last night. Right, yeah. And something was going on yesterday, though, man, for all the people to be out like that. I know, We right? just didn't know what was going on. Remember, it was like, there was something going on. Mm -hmm, right. All these people acting the way they're acting. Because ain't nobody occupied in privacy. Everybody just occupied in father. People mm -hmm. still smoking their blunts and women still, you know what I'm saying, doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody focused on what's going on except for the men of the Lord. Right, that they right. think it's just a normal day. Right. You know, you got homeless people just everywhere, right? right. Businesses closed down. Everything's so expensive, you can't even afford it. Mm -hmm. The love of many wax and cold. <clears throat> Nobody don't see what's going on. They see it, but they ain't, the Lord ain't got the spirit on them to really know what's going on, mm -hmm. even though they see it. We do, though. That's right. We occupy the probably said, for real, for real. Right. Something comes out, you know what I'm saying? If, if I don't see it, another brother going to see it. Right. Bro, did you hear about such and such, such and such? Like all them um, little articles or videos you was bringing out last night. Huh. There, was, there was prophecy right there being mm -hmm. fulfilled. Right. And you was occupied in it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's right. Yeah. A dude, you know what I'm saying, eating another dude's leg, yo. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, yo, man. <laughs> that's crazy. That's our, in America, too? Right. I know, right? So this, this, this is Haiti or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that woman, you know what I'm saying, ran over her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. The love of men is waxing cold. Mm -hmm. People getting desperate now. For that dude, you know what I'm saying, to eat somebody's leg, yo, something really going on, you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. You don't just wake up one day and just eat somebody's leg. Something's going on. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Y'all got it. I got something for you. Speaking of being occupied in prophecy, I think said, Kabai got a little bit more. Oh, oh, I'm saying you do what you got to do, but Kabai yeah, got a little yeah, bit yeah, more. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. It says, um, it says, New York man who, who fatally diced twin girl after she refused to follow him back on mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang. Oh, <I'm> <laughs> That's yeah. the love of video by cold. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and when you go into that article, yeah. um, there was a more than like 13, 14 years old out at three o'clock in the morning. Wow. Um, you know, three, four o'clock in the morning. So, mm. you know, like scriptures say, they not for be getting abroad. Right. You know, like that commercial back in the day. Everybody's up. being um the man pretty much. Um, it's like in desperate times now. Yep. Desperation yep. mode. Yep. It's mm -hmm. like all look, bro, this is getting crazy, bro. Now, older men, most definitely, they're being deprived. Yep. This person right here was 13. Yeah. They're being deprived to the point, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. this is um, a system that's pushed forth sex. Yep. So the only thing people see is sex, and they see other guys just getting yep. it, getting, getting it, it, getting it, getting it. Getting it, getting it, getting yep. it. All the girls, like, yep. part of the drug dealers and yep. things like that. You yep. got the fancy clothes, and this dude right here was denied. So he's like, yo, motherfuckers <laughs> losing it, though, bro. Right. Yep. That was it on that. That's that crazy up. though, man. <laughs> and it's gonna get worse than that, bro. Yo, hey. Men are being denied, you know what I'm saying, a system where everyone every lady is naked. Hmm. Every woman hmm. is naked, you know what I'm saying? And every man is being deprived. It's like you holding a steak in front of a pit bull right. and ate in like two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The pit bull like your head, then next thing you know, the damn chain snap. Yep. What you man. think the pit bull gonna do, man? You been playing with meat in front of his face for right. two weeks, he ain't ate, next thing you know, right. he on that chain. Ah, ah. <laughs> no next thing right. you know, the damn chain break. What you think that pit bull gonna do? Right. So people are, are animals now, man. On every la level, they're being deprived of everything out here. Right. You see? A good life, people are being deprived. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got people um, robbing banks and things mm -hmm. of that nature, in and out of stores. You know what I'm saying? Certain things they can't afford in the store. You shit, you didn't made it to where people can't have a job. Yep. What's that one I was talking about the other day? Um, when they just uh, oh, what we talking about? It was going just going through homes and just setting up shop. Oh yeah, squad, oh, yeah, squad, yeah, squad, yeah, squad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Mm hmm. This, this this is us being occupied and probably seeing all these things. This place is done, yo. Ain't no coming back, man. No, right. Squatters got the right to take over your house. Yep. And if you come in there and do something, you know what I'm saying, like they arrested that woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
And if, if, and if you um, go oops upside their head and they're hearing the police, you know what I'm right. saying? The squatter has a right, you know what I'm saying, to go on their phone, you know what I'm saying, and say, I've been here, you know what I'm saying, yep. over a month or something like yep. that, bro, and keep your house, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, but look, 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 and we got to take you to court. They got these migrants over here. Yep. They're taking yep. away your blicky rights, your G-U-N rights, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But they say that, that um, illegal immigrants, they can have blickies. Right. Mm-hmm. This shit you're in to pop off, man, yeah. for real, yep. for real. Yep. Crazy. A little look, problem, um, reaction, yeah, solution. solution. Yep. Cause the chaos, you know what I'm yep. saying? See how people going to react to it, then you bring in a solution. Now everybody going to be crying, you know what I'm saying, for help soon come. Get away. Oh, yeah, the police departments are being defunded. You yep. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they, they passing them laws to where the police ain't coming out at certain nights of the yep. hour. Yep. yep. Ain't working throughout. So ain't nobody in the office. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look, look call. We call us, you know what I'm saying? We'll call you back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Call me now. Right. Oh yeah, say um um automated um yeah. systems. Is going switch board. Yeah, yeah. switch board. Bro, this is crazy, bro. Right. Yeah. Let you know this shit getting really popular. It, it's the Lord's movie though. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody was talking. I was gonna say it right. Hold your thought. Uh-huh. Every look, look. Everybody was talking shit. They ain't gonna call. They ain't gonna have no help soon come, bro. Yep. It's right. like no one's gonna have options anymore. You see. Mm-hmm. A regular playing field. Nobody mm-hmm. has options. No shit, man. The gang bangers gonna be trying to call for the police yep. soon. Yep. Come. No the right. drug dealers gonna yep. try to call for the police. Gonna be lo- It's gonna be just like Haiti, yo. And worse or though, you got it wrong. Now, did you hear about the nine one one dispatcher? A uh, thirteen year old boy called. He had got shot, and, and he was panicking. And the nine one one guy was like, uh, "Yeah, toughen up. You'll be all right." And the, and the, the thirteen year old ended up being deleted. I think I heard some. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's the times we coming into. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, Stop man. Just, hey, the land I go, what you just said, it's funny that the, the hours that these places, these states are doing it at, is doing hour times where people are hanging out the most. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. What happens when you hang out? You, you incorporate drugs, alcohol, and Violence. Yeah. And then some have it too. <laughs> yeah, right. We should have had your ass at home. Exactly. That's why I said we read earlier last night, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's better to go to the house on Monday than to go to the house of feasting. Yep. Being out all night. It's a way to seem it right into a man, but the end of the road leads to you being deleted. Yep. Right. Y'all got it. Right. Uh, Sirach, uh 29 and 2, it says, He will keep the saints of renowned men, and where subtle perils are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. Mm. Expansion that out. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it like I'm uh, like uh, Rob brung out one. He brung it. Just keep it going in the yeah. circle until we finish or whatever. Yeah, I got one. If brothers want to make their points, just throw Come. them out there. You know what I'm saying? Open yeah. for them. Just an open for them. You know what I'm saying? Brothers got together. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of your hell, but you know what I'm saying? And look, man, we're just giving our people warning. Mm-hmm. Stay focused. Things mm-hmm. are happening. Don't go back to sleep away. I know, right? Yeah. Close your eyes for what? Shit's popping off, man. Everything is popping <clears throat> off. When Ross said, um, a dude just got blicky down, you know what I'm saying? 13 year old, he called, you know what I'm saying? The dispatch, you know what I'm saying? And they told him to toughen up. He just got blasted mm-hmm. down. They said, toughen up, man. Look, look, strap up your boots, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. You's a thug. You ain't. You won't call us then when you out there saying being a menace to society. Mm, right. Don't call us now. All you menaces to society. All you chicks that's out there twerking, shaking your ass and all that. When all hell break loose, don't call nobody. You got it. You say you independent. Right. The thugs. No saying let the thugs be thugs. Let the women be independent. You're independent. Don't call on help in that day. Yep. And then the Lord got everybody in the trick bag. Got everybody playing their position. Mm. Got everybody to the point to where we we know we ain't got it. Right. We know we need help. Yeah. We, we I mean we reading the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We fear the Lord. We we begging for help. We begging for mercy. That's right. But everybody else is uh, just on their own out there in the sunken zone. That, that's mm-hmm. gonna be with it, the, the dead zone, yeah. forbidden zone. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You two thirds, y'all in the forbidden zone, man. Mm-hmm. You see, and y'all done. Y'all gonna get no help, man. You got to help yourself now, man. Yeah. Like, like all on, like we was walking that dude said my name. Yep. They in the forbidden zone, bro. Mm-hmm. They got that look. You see how dead everybody yes, looks, bro. Yep. These people through, bro. Mm. Yep. Through, man. <laughs> now, some of them, the Lord might have some mercy on. Who knows? Yep. You know, what I'm saying um, the whole elect, you get still got some of them in that in that state of mind. Yep, yep. They're still coming out of that world, whatever. Mm-hmm. But the ones that the Lord don't help me, you know they're going to be through, but they're going to be sitting somewhere stinking. You know what I'm saying? The women going to be stinking. The dudes going to be stinking. They're going to be hungry. They ain't going to have nothing to eat. We see it all the time, man. Yep. You know, and the only thing that, because they malnutrition is on no way, bro. Hell only yeah. thing you see, me and my combine was going to camp and um, now we was going we was going to do a lesson. And the dude, you know what I'm saying? It was um, a couple of people, a mama and all her kids. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the dude had a yeah, um, yeah. bag of Cheetos yeah. in the back. It's all these people eating his Cheetos. What Damn. the hell is Cheetos going to do, you know what I'm saying, right. for you when all hell break loose? 
You ain't, you ain't drunk no water, nothing. You just um, full of Cheetos, one bag. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no nutrients, no substance, right. or nothing. Just nothing. Cheetos. Through, man. Yep. Cookies and Cheetos. You know what I'm saying? All day, man. The <laughs> Lord ain't going to give them that in that day, bro. Nah. That's what we're telling our people. We're wanting our people. The vision is kicking in now, man. Mm -hmm. This lawless is no one's going to help you, right? Mm -hmm. No one's going to help you pay your rent. No one's going to um, um, give you a meal, help you get a meal. Nobody, man. Everybody's on their own, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord going to look out for the whole elect men and women. But shit, man. Who knows who that is? You know what I'm saying? I know. We call ourselves the whole elect. Look, we don't know what the Lord going to do in that day. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why we were making our call to election oh, sure. That, giving diligence. It, it says, right. um, what is that? It's, um, with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Shit, because it, it, this is getting ready to really go down, man. Yeah. See, we really see people out here just really starving, you know, eating each other. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know what I'm saying? On that video, bro. It's getting ready to get real. And nobody ain't going to get arrested in that day. Right. Just like in Haiti, you know what I'm saying? I seen a video this morning. It ain't going to make it too long. I seen a video this morning where they was um burning the bodies of the, um, the gang members, bro. Dang. They said their bodies just burned on the streets, bro. And the police, were, um, once their bodies got to, um, to um, Crispy and Black and Charles, you know what I'm saying? The um, police were just coming through with a shovel, bro. Picking it up, you know what I'm saying? And just putting it in like a little um, wheelbarrow thing, you know what I'm saying? Putting it into the, the Jeep once the um, smoke cleared. Mm. Damn. 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 going to get you wicked people, man. Damn. You Jason want to be wicked? You don't want to take heed to the word? Lord going to get each and every last one of y'all, man. Damn. All you schemers, you know what I'm saying? All you schemers, scammers, boppers, boopers, right. tweakers, twerkers, you know what I'm saying? The Lord going to get mm -hmm. each and every last one of you. At least you repent, man. Right, right, this right. message is deadly serious. Y'all got it. That's right. right. I got one for you. This is uh, Isaiah 55, verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Now does the Lord speak? You know, you got Hebrews, the first chapter, and Luke, the first chapter, tells you that the Lord speaks to his men, the servants, the prophets, man. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give you the warning before things really happen, man. Mm -hmm. Because we've been given the inside scoop through the spirit of Yah, by Shem, Shah, by us fearing the Lord, man. So we're going to give you the warning that we're there that's but off our hands. It says, it shall not return unto me void. Yeah, the prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. If the Lord says it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You best, you best believe it's going to happen. It's just on the Lord's time, man. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody is just thinking that it's cool to do wickedness. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's just stacking up your tasks so he can get that brutal judgment on you. That's all. And can I just say one thing, bro? Oh, absolutely. And then the Passover was last night. We don't know exactly how many Israelite groups did it or whatever. Or held, held the feast. Mm -hmm. But the ones that did held the feast, they was partying, bro. Mm -hmm. Having fun, bro. They had women, you know what I'm saying, shaking their ass and all this stuff, bro. It was a solemn assembly. We was nervous, scared. You know what I'm saying? Brothers didn't know what was going to happen. But y'all were murphing it up, man. Like it's all love and all these prophecies are kicking in high gear. You got people actually out here in America now eating each other, man. And ain't no telling with these um the, the so-called immigrants that's coming, you know what I'm saying, from the border and coming from Miami. Ain't no telling what they out there doing in America right about now. Everything can't be reported and everything can't be seen. Yeah. It's a whole lot mm -hmm. going on, but other Israel like groups partying, bro. Smiling, having fun, like it's all love, love. And we in hell. You know what I'm saying? We in this hellish condition, catching hell, barely paying rent, you know what I'm saying? Barely got jobs and things of that nature. This devil about to come in like a flood, but it's all love. They having fun and shit, bro. You got dudes sitting in chairs like they kings and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Don't worship your Howard Shy. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they act like they the king, bro. They act like they the king of kings, right? Mm. Mm. They got the um, got the um the rest of the um, people that's fellowship with them looking like peasants, though, right? <laughs> you in a king's chair while everybody else stand up around you looking like peasants, though, right? right. When the Lord said we're supposed to um, humble ourselves, not exalt ourselves, you know? He that exalted himself shall be a base. Yep. And he that thinking himself to be someone he ain't, he deceived his own self, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and the other, these, oh, none, everybody's going to show, you know what I'm saying, what they was doing, you know what I'm saying, doing their Passover, because the Lord going to have it that way. Yep. We're in, we're in the um, mm -hmm. information age, and we're in the age where everybody's showing everything. Mm -hmm. Everybody seeing what we was doing, starting yep. out with the elder apostles. Everybody silently, silently just bringing out scriptures like we're doing right now. But watch, watch when these other people bring out their videos of what they was doing. It's yeah. going to be nothing but fighty, bro. Yeah. A bunch of confusion. A lot of people talking. People over here talking. <laughs> people over there talking. People over yeah. there talking. This dude over here trying to be an idol and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Married women staring at the next man. You know what I'm saying? Like he's God or something. You know what I'm saying? Crying to him. Oh, his garment was so beautiful. Right. It was a lavish. It was a stone cold groove. Right. Well, ain't nobody saying, yo, yo, man, I was nervous, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I prayed that the sacrifice was accepted and things of that nature. Hope the Lord passed over. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, man. 
So we're gonna get them all though, man. Y'all got it, man. Just wanna right. say that though, man. That's right. Cause we, we had that was the Lord. The Lord told us how to have it too, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Um, unleavened bread. You know what I'm saying? Lamb roasted. Um, um, wine. You know what I'm saying? Menorah. Um, the <laughs> ram's horn. Torah. Torah. And if I'm forgetting like anything, oil. yeah, anointing oil. And look, and that's it, man. Mm. You see? Just tell us to have nothing there. No macaroni, no turkey, no right. turkey. Right. You know what I'm saying? Seasoned with bacon. Or none of that, man. See, that, that lets you know these guys mocking the Lord, bro. Mm -hmm. They're mocking the Lord's Passover. Yo, when you bring anything other than what the scriptures tell mm -hmm. you, command you to bring, that's when yes, you mocking, yo. Right. That's you adding, that's you taking away, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's supposed to be no bottle girls. And then little, little Salakia, we didn't mean to do that. Salakia, so yes, you yes, did. did. Right. Yes, you did, man. Just like you going to the store and you steal something. I ain't mean to steal it. Yes, you did. Yeah. You stole yeah. it, man. Because right. you, you don't mean caught. to steal it, you ain't going to steal it. We say it wrong. Salakia, like you don't mean to get caught. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 we ain't mean to be around the bottle girls, you know what I'm saying, on the Passover. Oops, oops, like Salakia, oops, mm -hmm. oops. Come right. on, man. Yes, you did, man. The Lord knows though. Yeah, but how do they get there? Yeah. Why they in the same building as you if you ain't know that they uh if you ain't want the, uh, them to be around, man? Right. You invited them, man. Quit playing games. The last thing we think about, you know what I'm saying, is how not a woman on the Passover. Right. Uh, are you are you married? Are you married? Right. Lord Sean, everybody who's who going right back to um Malachi the third chapter, mm -hmm. verse 16. Mm -hmm. I mean um, 18. Yep. You're gonna discern. But the Lord said the blind follow the blind. Everybody gonna fall into the ditch, man. Right. The Lord don't want any, everybody anyway, though, man. The Lord don't want every Israelite man. The Lord damn sure don't want every Israelite woman to get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's only for the elect. We starting to get that even more clearer, man. Every day to go past, we starting to understand it more and more when it says it's only for the elect. We starting mm -hmm. to understand that more and more every day that goes past. Mm -hmm. We we seeing it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Y'all got it. I got something yep. real quick since you said about the. Um... You know, sit up in a in a, in a chair and, and you know, abasing themselves. Yeah. Of, of not being humble. This is uh Sirach seven and four it says, "Seek not the Lord preeminence." Right, and when you go into that word, it means uh, the fact of surpassing all other superiority. Dang. Mm -hmm. All right. I was reading that the other day. That's the spirit. Come on, it says neither of the king. The seat of honor. See, they're trying to sit in the seat of honor of a mm -hmm. king. And we ain't there. We ain't, yep. we, we ain't there yet, man. You're supposed to be humbling yourself. Right. Yep. You, can't, you can't seek the Lord that way and then, and, and then try to be a king. Right. Nah, man. Now, we know we are kings. Right, right. But in the day, not right now is the time right. for that. Right now, we mm -hmm. service. We're just servants, man. We're just here to minister right, right. now. You know what I'm yep. saying? And Lord willing, we'll get crowned. Yep. yep. That's right. These dudes act like they already made it already. Right. You know what I'm saying? The way they acting. But the Lord was going into in that parable. You know what I'm saying? His house lay waste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These dudes, you know what I'm saying, sitting in lavish houses with, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature is roughly paraphrasing. Mm. Yep. That was it. This is back in the Isaiah, of Isaiah 55, verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Mm -hmm. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So all the prophecies is going uh, that's jumping off the page now is going to continue to do so, man. Mm -hmm. You know the prophecies of uh people these false prophets, false prophets getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. They getting worse. The, the whole world getting worse, man. Mm -hmm. That's all according to prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue to happen all the way right. to Lord Yahweh shall returns, man. And we got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. With everything that we're going to get into some bad shit, man. Know, right? We still got to stay focused, man. Yep. You know? And, and the Lord say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have you to where you're going to be smiling and laughing at this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You're going to be laughing at yep. people being burnt. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, you're going to be laughing at people starving. You know? The people that fucked you over. You're going to be laughing at them when the Lord bring destruction mm -hmm. upon them. You know? Mm -hmm. Had them in the worst condition ever known to mankind. The Lord said, I'm going to put that spirit on you. You're going to laugh at death and destruction, right. man. Yep. It says, um, yeah, others are gonna weep and mourn, but you're gonna have abundance. Yep. Mm -hmm. So where everybody else starving, eating people's legs and all that, you're gonna have some real food. Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna have to resort to Lord when we have that number, we ain't gonna have to resort to cannibalism. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna have to resort to the bricking the stores and stealing and all that, being blicky down and all that. The Lord said, You ain't gotta worry about no food, because mm -hmm. I'm gonna take care of your food is gonna be provided. Your right. water's gonna be provided. You see? Protection right. is gonna be provided for the true believers, right. but everybody else. You mm -hmm. already know what it is. Look, look, yeah. get it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Get it how you live, so to speak, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Y'all got it. You, you got one? 
Um, yeah, I got one, but you don't, I think it's in you now, right? Uh, okay. Or do I read one for somebody? Um, no, I, I'll, I'll just make it sure. <clears throat> yeah. Isaiah 48 and 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, like the brother was going into. Mm -hmm. The Lord speaks to his prophets. Mm -hmm. It says, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. <sighs> Verse 4. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thou neck is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. Uh, Israel's hard headed. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 5, here's the point. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee before it came to pass. I mm -hmm. showed it thee. Least thou shalt say, or should have say, mine idol have done them, <laughs> and my graven image and my molding image have commanded them. So the Lord has already declared from the beginning what he was going to do when he spoke of it through his prophets. So nobody could say, oh, yeah, Buddha did this. Yeah. You know, yeah. or Allah did this. No, no. Yeah. My God did this. No. Everything precisely is happening based off what the Lord said will happen in these times. <clears throat> and if you're occupied in prophecy and you measure the times and you're listening to the prophets, it's telling you who's right. doing it. That's right. Because the Lord is going to be known by his judgments. That's why the scriptures say, um, then shall they know that it was a prophet among them. Because mm -hmm. that prophet was telling you who was doing it precisely how, you know, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So you can't give credit right. to no other. That's right, you bro. You know, so everything's happened perfectly and it's more to come. It's <laughs> more to come, man. No. It's scary to get scary now, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're you going to have more people running over each other, yo. Broad daylight. People mm -hmm. ain't caring no more. This is broad. The dude was eating that person's leg in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. I think that woman ran over her boyfriend in broad daylight, right, bro? Or was it getting nighttime a little bit? Yeah, it was getting nighttime. Yeah. Evening. But still, yeah, right, right, we're still yeah. seeing videos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That dude ran over his woman in, in that van. With his, I think his kids <laughs> was in the van a little yeah, while back. Yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I think they hit the like, front porch, too, with the van. The the Damn. woman with the woman the woman got hit first and then they hit the front porch. Bro. Damn, you know what I'm saying? With the, with the dude wife yo with the kids in the car, bro. These people are losing it, man. I got one quick one for me. As a matter of fact, uh, that dude that article that I read that was in broad daylight. Wow. Mm -hmm. She didn't give him her her, her Instagram. He even she pretty much uh, dissed him. You know what I'm saying? And the spirit of vengeance got activated in him, and he had to do what he had, he had to do. He had the pieces. Mm -hmm. That's going right back to Sirach the 40th chapter then. Remember it says strife yep. and bloodshed? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Strife pretty much fighting and bloodshed pretty much being hacked to pieces. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you go into that definition. Yep. He dice, it's, so, so it's good. He dice, slice, and dice. Man, these people, you know what I'm saying? He meditated on that too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ignored him for so long, you know what I'm saying? He just lashed out, man. Yeah. Then that's what people's going to do. You can't, people, person can't get a job, they're going to lash out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Person can't get nothing to eat, they're going to lash out. Person being disrespected, they're going to lash out. That was in New York, right? Yeah, that was in Brooklyn, yeah. See? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn they said it was an uh, uh, execution style type uh, slashing. Damn. Yeah. Damn. And then after that, he tried to uh, get the, uh, the bodega worker. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you know mm -hmm. that was a heavy spirit on him, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Created for Venice, right? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then think about it, he was 13. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, no old man, 13. Right. right. And then you live around them, uh, them yeah. elements, like New York, you live around all those people. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I mind, like, more settled, like, being down in, like, states where they ain't cram. You're not crammed. You know what I'm saying? It's trees. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, they say, uh, when you stay in the trees, you know what I'm saying, you're more civilized so to speak you know what i'm saying mm. yeah because your brain you know what i'm saying you inside you're in nature yep nature just does something to you it keeps mm -hmm. you more calm mm -hmm. you're hearing the sounds of birds you know what i'm saying you're hearing the yep. cool breeze come through mm -hmm. but when you're in a concrete jungle you hear a number of ambulances that you see sense. that's why that's why uh, you got brothers that come down here from new york you know what i'm saying and they be just um like yeah. what, 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 what the ambulance sounds right, like right, what right. the cop car sounds <laughs> like you know what i'm saying what the blicky sound right. should i say you know what i'm saying what the auger what the fussing at you know what i'm saying a yep. brother told me that, like, yo, you know what I'm, saying? I'm used to hearing noise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't used to, I'm getting nervous, you know what I'm saying? It's too quiet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though it's kind of noisy for us, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing to them. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. A normal day, you know what I'm saying? It's a normal day of violence, you know what I'm saying? Somebody fighting on the subway, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So somebody yelling out the building. There's a couple of people yelling. Oh, because you, you surround them like thousands of people, bro. Yep. You most definitely can't yep. sit on your porch, you know what I'm saying, without somebody seeing you. Yep. See, down here, you know what I'm saying? You come out and just sit on your porch, you know what I'm saying? Just. Yeah, I know, right? Up there, you can't do yeah. that, bro. Yeah. You want to say something wrong? Nah, you're right. you hitting the points on it. That's why, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be even more crazy, you know what I'm saying, for them um, major cities like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, and they show I you know, that right? when, they, um, when they blew them um, <clears throat> the bridges up in that Will Smith movie and everybody yeah. went crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I got um second Ezra chapter fifteen. I'm gonna be reading through, just jumping through right quick. Right. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse one, and it reads, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which we're doing, telling our people what's going to happen before it even happen. Regardless if they hear for a bit, I think it was Yukabai, or no, or either Ara said um, they're gonna know that probably it was Ara, yeah. so they're gonna know that it probably been among them. Yeah, yeah they're gonna know because what we're telling them, they're gonna actually start to see it for real, for real. You see, yeah. and people are seeing it, man. Yeah, yeah. You think these people ain't seeing what we're saying? Yeah. They seeing it, man. All right, they can try to ignore it all they want to. They see jobs mm -hmm. holding down. They see people like, like yo, when we be bringing out, like, yo, the Lord gonna have you people homeless and all mm -hmm. that. Let's say, you know, it's five people homeless today. Let's mm -hmm. say, you know, it's 10 people homeless today. Mm -hmm. The people that are actually outside, you know, say, while we at work, they seeing more and more people homeless. They seeing more and more people in the downtown area just walking around with nothing to do. You see? Yeah. Seeing more people, you know what I'm saying? Because every time we ride past certain bus stops, it'd be like more people, right? You know what I'm saying? 20 people, 30 people. And, he, and sometimes they move up the street, you know what I'm saying? From that area, because the, the, the law enforcement say, yo, y'all can't stand right here. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. and, that's what's, that's, and it's like that everywhere now. God. So these people see it, man. They see the stores closing down. They see hyperinflation kicking in and all that, right? It says, um, speak down the ears of my people with the words of prophecy, which I will put in their mouth, say the Lord. So it's the Lord that got us out there on the highways and byways. And, and it's about the end soon come too. Mm -hmm. The devil passing laws and make it to where, you know what I'm saying? We, we're a defender for the word, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're not going to be out there too much longer mm -hmm. preaching this gospel. And our people look through, man. They're going to even look mm -hmm. more through when we're not around to preach the gospel, man. You know it, man. All right. Yeah. Them dudes, you know what I'm saying, we was um, leaving the spot, we was camping at, coming up, and the dude, you know what I'm saying, yeah, my name, all, all of them was through, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them, all of them look like they ain't have no hope, bro. All of them look like they ain't have no place to stay, too. Right. All of them look like they straight up worried about where their next meal going to come. It's going to be mm -hmm. even worse, you know what I'm saying, when you ain't got nobody telling you, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, that there's hope and, you know what I'm saying, your, your yeah. power just repent, yeah. things of that nature. You just out there, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to say something about it? Yeah, I was going to say, how many times that, you know, uh, you know, Jake stopped by, let me, let me hear something good. That message, like you said, is going to be gone, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to find no confident words out here, man. Right. Whew. None whatsoever, bro. Whew. Get it while the getting is good. Done. This devil got laws on the books where he's getting ready to pass. And I think in some countries, he already passed it already. So when you go to jail, you know what I'm saying? That uh, that woman got locked up, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, for preaching the Bible, remember? And she had to pay that heavy oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. That woman, yeah, 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 that yeah. black woman, I remember that. that Israelite woman, yeah, yeah, they locked her up. And she had to pay like thousands, right, bro? Damn. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, she had to pay like um, $240,000, bro. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Y'all seen that article? Yeah. Nah, I ain't see that. Yeah. yeah. You saw record bonds? Yeah, man. Damn. So people are literally, they starting off with them, but they really aimed at the prophets, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep, exactly. They're, everything is really aimed at the prophets to get them off the street. So, yeah, of course they're uh, arrest um, mm. a, a false teacher, uh, pastor, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Because gearing up, you know what I'm saying? They're making everything mm. normal now. Mm. Right. They want us to condemn wickedness. This this devil, like, yo, I'm ruling the earth right about now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm the wicked. So, of course, well, we, don't, we don't expect anything less anyway. Right. The scriptures say this is going to happen anyway, a famine. Where we didn't know how it was going to happen, mm -hmm. but we know it was going to happen, all right? Mm -hmm. Right. It says, Behold, speak. It says, it's like in <coughs> verse 5, second Exodus 15, 5. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues on upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. It's going to be more diseases, more incurable diseases. And then you go into that word plague, it's more than just diseases and job closings. Mm -hmm. uh, the city of Murph, you know what I'm saying? It's closing, man. The Lord yeah, said, I'm just mm -hmm. taking the Murph out of this place. Right. People get ready to start mourning for their babies, you know what I'm saying? For their mm -hmm. offspring, right? Destruction, sword, famine. You see, you, you showed us that video. That's all a sign of a famine, bro. Yep. When that dude, you know what I'm saying? Of course, demon was on him, of course, you know what I'm saying? But something's going on <laughs> for you to eat somebody's leg. The leg won't even cook or nothing, man. The leg had just came off somebody, man. Damn. The leg just came yeah. up. What was it, in a train crash or something, bro? Yeah, uh, uh, guy got hit by a train. By a homeless person or something. And his leg came up, and somebody picked up his leg and started eating it, yo. People actually starving out here, man. Just like that skid rolling out there. There people starving, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah. It's going to be just like um that movie, you know what I'm saying, um, Wesley Snipes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when they was coming from up under the ground. And, and stealing that food, you know what I'm saying, oh, for the um, people. Um, Demolition Man, Demolition right? Man, yeah. yeah, it's going to be like that, like on steroids, though, right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to get so outrageous. They, they ain't going to have no other choice but to bring in the troops, right? Mm -hmm. It says death and destruction. Let me just jump down to this last um, couple of verses. Um, it says, um, <clears throat> for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. You got that race <laughs> war, class war, civil war, gender wars. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? You got the um, splinter sales over here already. Mm -hmm. And then every state now. Seen some um, seen some of them um, immigrants, you know what I'm saying? Um, what was it? Over there by Capitol, I think. 
uh, with the signs out, you know what I'm saying? You're trying trying to get money. They here already, bro. Mm -hmm. They here already. Now some of them, you know what I'm saying, are oh, people trying to get help and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? But but you can tell the ones that ain't though. Mm -hmm. You can look dead in their eyes. Look, look, you know who they is mm -hmm. and, and they know you know who they is. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. that look that you give a person, like yeah. mm -hmm. you look at them like they like damn he 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 know mm -hmm. but but I mean you going on about your business you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but our people to see him they don't know what the hell going on you know what I'm saying bro mm -hmm. it says um and look and swords meaning weapons they gonna have weapons in their hands right blickies oh because remember um they passed on a law to where the, well matter of fact they passed on a law to where they can have blickies you know what I'm saying but the average <laughs> United States citizen so called can't can have yeah, one right yeah. it says that one people should stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands and for there should be sedition among men you got that going on there yeah. people excited other people to go against the government they say if, if Trump don't win you know what I'm saying they're gonna pop off mm -hmm. right they're gonna pop off right yeah, mm -hmm. Trump said it yeah Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it was be a B L double O D bath. You see? Right. Shut up back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause I'm uh, you know the motherfucker about Godfrey you know says yeah, says right. what's real good, right? Right. It says, um, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. People houses are gonna start getting ran up in, bro. Yep. Yep. It says, uh, cause you, you had to think, man, they lived um, like 300,000 people across the border in one day that time. And then they got more and more and more. And then you got people that was cro coming across that don't nobody know about yeah. in them little um, towns. Yep. Because yep. I work with this Latin. He says, um, a partner, I'm saying, with Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And you look know, and like across the street is America. You know what I'm saying? Man. You just got to get there. It's like right here is Mexico. Mm -hmm. and across the street is is, is, uh, is um, Texas. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the only oh, thing yeah. that's separating uh, America from Texas is a little river. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to do is just get over the river. And you got other people on the other side of the river, you know what I'm saying? Looking this way and looking that way like, yo, the coast is clear. Come on, come on, come on. Right. And that's saying, you know, the patrol people come through with the boats, right? Yeah. And that's saying, you no. Know, and some more people, you know what I'm saying? And you, know, you, you should, if you want to, you can just be saying, they can see you. It don't yeah. even matter. Right. As long as they don't see you crossing that water. Right. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm right here and I'm, I'm America's right there. Of course they see you. As long as they don't see you in that water, you know what I'm saying? Dude say that's how he got over here. You know what I'm saying? That's how his woman got over here. You know what I'm saying? He had the people on the other side like, yo, now, now, go, go, right. go, go, go. He said the river going pretty heavy, though, you know what I'm saying? So what they do, you know what I'm saying, they, um, they throw um, a rope. You know what I'm saying? With a tire. Mm -hmm. You just hold on to that rope right quick. You know what I'm saying? Go across. You got to be fast, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And they say you mess up your hand and everything. But them people have been coming over here, though, bro. They don't know about it. Know about. So it's getting ready to pop off. Mm -hmm. And if you over here, so-called illegal, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no food. Nobody don't know you over here. You bust somebody's head wide open, you know what I'm right. saying? Um, blicky them down, you know what I'm saying? Nobody don't know who you is. Right. Nobody ain't got your fingerprints. Right. And they say, you no, know, you just move on to another city. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or just do whatever mm -hmm. you got to do. Nobody don't know what's going on, man. Yeah. We're living in that time now. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They ain't listening to the Sleepy Joe, Fire Marshal Bill. They're not listening to um, right. Donald Duck. You right. know what I'm saying? It says, um, Tyler. How was that? Yeah, uh, uh, Commander Tyler. Right. You know what I'm saying? Commander Bill. Right. Nobody ain't listening to nobody. Right. The, the governors, <laughs> the mayors, the, uh, the community tie mm -hmm. leaders, these church pastors. Nah, man. It says um, in the course of their actions to stand in their power, people go around um, taking in their, take it up on their own, huh? Mm -hmm. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, martial law, eventually gonna pop <laughs> off. Um, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So if men gonna be afraid, what what about that? We it's gonna be bad out here for you women, man. Yeah. This shit gonna get yeah. real, man. You know what I'm saying? Scared to get real, man. Mm. We see it every day, you know what I'm saying? Women is out there with the thugs and out there with the alcoholics mm. and all that. That woman knows she had to be, she has to be with one of those guys out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A woman can't be hanging around a bunch of drunks and a bunch of drug dealers, you know what I'm saying, by herself. You know what I'm saying? No, she knows she had to be with one of those dudes that has a, a name, a street name for himself. Whether he's a wino or something, you got a bunch of winos drinking or whatever, right? One of those winos, you know what I'm saying, can still fight, all right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Can still protect a woman. So a woman will get with that. Even though she don't want to, she knows she has to. Because you're in right. those elements, man. And if you don't, if you're not with one of those dudes, then everybody gonna take you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she gotta get with one of them dudes. We see it every day, right? Yeah. She has to get with one mm -hmm. of them dudes to be protected from the rest of the crowd, man. Mm -hmm. And anytime she walks around, everybody know not to mess with her. Why? Because she has a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a woman that doesn't have a man is, is um, dog food, man. Mm -hmm. You see? For everybody else yep. that's out there, man. Yep. So all you women walking around talking, y'all independent. Y'all in for a rude damn awakening, man. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. You're in the worst way, man. In the worst way, man. You have black eyes and all that shit, man. She can really get real, man. Yep. You see? 
And they're just, they're just gonna be passing you around, you know what I'm saying? From 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 um block to block to block, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From um alley to alley, you know what I'm saying? Alley. It says um this last little verse, it says, um, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword and spoil me to take their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So you <clears throat> nobody can care who stays across the street. Right. And how long you been knowing you come out every day going to work, you wave at them, things like that. Y'all might sit on the porch and have yeah. a beer and all that. All that's going out the window when yep. that stomach touched that back, man. Y'all got it. Yep. Uh, I got one. Uh, I got one. Uh, second Ezra 16 and... Um, 37, the GNT, it says, the disasters are approaching rapidly, and they will not be delayed. Mm -hmm. Verse 38, a woman in the ninth month of her pregnancy may suffer labor pains but several hours for several hours, but when the time comes for the baby to be born, there is no longer any delay. Mm -hmm. Verse 39, in the same way the disasters are coming on earth will not be delayed. And the world will groan when it is caught in its labor pains. Mm. Verse 40, listen to my message, my people, and get ready for the battle. When the disasters come, you might, you must live as people whose home is not in this world, pilgrims, right? Mm -hmm. on, yeah. on that destination to that holy land. Verse 41 says, merchants must not expect to make profit from what they sell. They must be ready to run for their lives. Damn. Mm. Their customers must expect to lose whatever they buy. Whoever builds a house should not plan to live in it. Mm -hmm. Damn. Farmers should not expect to harvest their <clears throat> crops or pick their grapes. Those who marry must not expect to have children. And those who don't marry must live as if they had been widowed. Mm. Anything that is done will be useless. That's it. Damn, damn, bro. It's like that is going to be. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, those that marry is that they're not going to have children. You got to think that draft is coming, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, I know someone that I used to work with, they, uh, they was married to a military guy and he got shipped off, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is good. Yeah, that's Recently. Good. Dang. Uh, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I seen this video yesterday, this dude said, you know, so he just got his calling papers. See? You know what I'm saying? So he got, he got, wow. he got, he got, a, he got a roll out. He says it's getting bad, y'all. It's getting ready to pop up. He said I just got my um my papers. You know what I'm saying today. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Look, look, I'm, I'm ordered out. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on what's going on. Really, yeah, really? you think you yeah, is? Yeah, exactly. They're yeah. gonna send you. They're gonna send you to the worst place known to mankind, yeah. man. It's a, it's a wrap. Yep. You think else, bro? I could be a friendly fire on them. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right? yeah. You got something? Nah, 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 nah. This uh, Sirach five and seven. I guess we'll end it on um, um Ezekiel three and seventeen. I do finish yours. Kabai, after Kabai finishes, we'll read you. that. Um, yeah, and then we end it on that. Just like I said before, open form. Yep. Just, 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 just warning our people, you know what I'm saying? What's happening right now? And what's to come? Mm -hmm. Them, them gurgle troops going to be coming down your street soon, come. They're going to go oops upside your head. And it's already law. See, that's why we're watching, you know what I'm saying, as well as praying. Mm -hmm. We already know it's books on the laws, on the books, you know what I'm saying, to where they can confiscate everything. Mm -hmm. In the time of war, they can confiscate everything. Your house, you know what I'm saying? Everything, man. Mm -hmm. And plus, they don't want people to own homes anyway. They just want everybody to just be renting. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because well, for, for, for a homeowner, they can't really raise, you know what I'm saying, to rent like that. You know what I'm saying? They can raise the mortgage a little bit, but not like rent, though. Right. Mm -hmm. People say their rent went up $500. One That's woman right. said her rent went up $1,000. You know what I'm yep. saying? She had to move. Mm -hmm. One dude said his rent went up $800. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Damn. It's like $800, man. You pay $800. That's ain't no it go to $1,600. Damn. You gotta move, man. You gotta you have to move quick too, man. You know you ain't got that money. Right. You gonna always be behind, yo. They, and they do what that dude say. Uh, you ain't gonna have nothing. You gonna be happy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. You got it, bro. So rock five and seven says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and the night security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. This, is, this is a time limit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake think the Lord's gonna always be there, gonna always mm -hmm. be around to pull them out. You know, from the troubles that they're that they're in. Right. But yeah. nah, that 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 time of mercy that we're living in is the, the doors are rapidly closing. Mm -hmm. And we see that through the prophecies that are that are uh, that are constantly mm -hmm. uh, speeding up. Yep. You know, whether it's uh, World War Three or whether it's the the, the sea hip. The MLT to the B, these famines, mm -hmm. the store closings, all right, uh, constantly trying to put a band-aid on this, uh, um, these government shutdowns, mm -hmm. right. all right, 
we know that it's, it's eventually everything's going to implode. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So now while they're getting this good, get this word now. Turn back to the Lord. And then, and then the thing about the people that know us from the world or whatever, then we're going to um, stop everything we're doing and help them. Yeah. Just because they know us. Yeah. Was you taking heed to the word? Right. If you don't take heed to the word, man, the Lord ain't going to put that spirit mm -hmm. on us. I mean, we don't know. But you can kind of see the Lord like, yo, help not a sinner. Right. Yeah. Do good to the godly man. Yeah. So it don't matter if you've been knowing us from knee high and all that. Did you take heed to the word? Because going pursuant to Romans, the um, 10th chapter, says everybody yeah. going to hear the word by the time those saying shit really jump off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be like the Lord going to put his spirit on us not help these MFs, man. Yeah. You know, certain people will get help. The, you got to be a believer to get help, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know. A little, uh, you get a uh, what it give um, prophets um water, you get a prophet's reward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gonna have to have already did something yep. mm -hmm. for the Lord's service. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody, you know, what I'm saying that was um for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To get a to get a reward. Everybody gonna just get a reward because you know somebody. Right. You know somebody that was preaching the word, so you get a reward. It don't work like that, man. Right. You had to have been doing something right. for the Lord to receive some type of reward. You see? So just because you know what it don't mean nothing, man. Right. You know, I'm your, I'm your sister. What that mean? Yeah, man. I'm your brother, brother. Y'all just said y'all y'all won't y'all didn't believe. Right. It's like, man, I'm your uncle. Right. <laughs> I'm your aunt. You don't love me. You don't love me no more. Mm. I showed you love. Right. 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 You know the truth. Mm -hmm. Right. What more do you want? Right. Mm -hmm. So when it when it was to really really pop up, we're gonna see some sad faces, man. Right. Phones are getting ready to start ringing for real, for real, man. Right. Yep. People know where you stay at. They're gonna start. Um, if you ain't there, they're gonna leave a note on the door. I came by. You know what I'm saying? Gonna I'm gonna have out. a talk with you and right. things of that nature. <laughs> man. Yep. Man, they gonna be camping out. You know how they Hell do yeah. it on them big games. They be having them tents up. They gonna yeah. be tent up. Oh yeah, because the they ain't got nowhere to go anyway. <laughs> Right. Exactly. So they probably gonna pull up to your crib in the car, you know what I'm saying? Just gonna sit yeah, there yeah, and go yeah. to sleep and shit. And that's saying you know, you're gonna be riding up, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna yeah. see a car in front of your yard, you like, yo, who the hell is that? Yeah. You're gonna keep going, right, you know what I'm right. saying? You ain't gonna stop at your crib, you just keep right. going. Right. And then you're gonna park somewhere, you know what I'm saying, low and be looking, you know what I'm saying, from a distance, right. see who the hell that is, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We circumspect anyway. Uh -huh. And that's saying you know, you're gonna see, you know what I'm saying, cousin Leroy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get out the car. Yeah. He's like, yo, what the hell did he want, you know what I'm saying? And he's going to be looking around and shit, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be looking at his watch like, eh, he ain't here yet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's going to get back in his car and he's going to sit there. Because he ain't got nowhere to go. Nowhere to so go. eventually you got to come to your crib, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This shit going to be crazy though, right? I know, You got to right? eventually see this person, man. <laughs> Can I talk to you about something? Or your brain really got nothing to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. It's gonna be, your brother's going to be cold on that day, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might, it depends on how that, uh, that family member was, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do got some uncles, you yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah. the aunts, you know what I'm saying, that you're real close with. Yeah. I don't know how that situation going to go, but right. people that's been mocking you and scoffing you and all that, man, you ain't got no time for them, man. Hey, we don't know how it's going to go. The scriptures say that, that their tongue shall cleave to the roof of their mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it may be a law out here saying, uh, like, they, they're passing out. Anybody you see uh, 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 preaching or saying anything, we gonna, we gonna give you a war. You turn I know, right, right, bro? I know, right? You know what I'm saying? So right. Yeah, I quote the Bible verse. You better not quote it. Yeah, you better not quote the Bible verse. <laughs> That's it. I know, right? That's it. You like, I don't know, um. Yeah. Um, gotta be weary. My right. boss, I haven't ate in the last four days, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They said he'd give me, give me some uh, money on my C hip, you know what I'm saying? Give me an advance, you know what I'm saying? Be able to eat and have some shots and all. They promised me a whole lot of things, man. So while you stand out there talking to them, that's how you know they, um, Got, got it like um secret recording yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. yep in the movies they got take got yep. take yeah why yeah why yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got a wire you know, you know, uh, so, so so how long you gonna be here right, man, right. You know what I'm saying pick up the damn troops you know what I'm yeah, saying right. yep. planes over your house and all that right we're living in those times where people yeah. gonna be giving up the service of the Lord man right yep. you know but the Lord said no saying war with you plus the scripture say pray not down for these people yeah the Lord said no saying he gonna uh Jeremiah 11 11 yep. he gonna bring evil upon them and they ain't gonna be able to escape mm -hmm. so a whole lot of people are not gonna escape the evils man okay. you got it bro that's right this is Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel and what's a watchman a watchman is a guard or a lookout mm -hmm. you know and he said at the highest point of the village 
so you can see outside the videos of what's going on, man, yep. that the average people can't see. Mm -hmm. That's us spiritually, man, because Yahweh Bashima Shah gave us the spiritual inside scoop about the impending danger and the prophecies before they came to pass, man. Mm -hmm. And now we're out there instructing you, giving you the warning, man. Mm -hmm. Because we see it. It's right there. It's right there, bro. You it's don't right. see it. We see it. We warn you about it and tell you about it. Mm -hmm. Those who don't believe, hey, that's on you. Right. What more can I do? It's all the Lord's movie. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a wife. Right, can I just say this one thing? Oh, People at our job, you know what I'm saying, that came up against us, you know what I'm saying? Anybody in this world that came up against yep. the service of the Lord, your ass grass, mm -hmm. in any kind of way, you said things behind our backs, the Lord had the angels write it down. Yep. Mm -hmm. You offending them. These people gonna have to pay though, man. That's the time we living in. So mm -hmm. these people gonna have to pay, yo. Yep. All the slandering, all the mocking, all the scoffing. They gonna have to pay. And then you got to pay for it now. Mm -hmm. What did it say? You uh, you wrote a check. Your your ass couldn't cash. Yep, yep. We're living in that time, mm -hmm. though, man. You got to pay the Lord. Like yo, why did you say that? You got to give me an answer. I want it right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mouth wrote a check that your, your ass couldn't cash. Right. That's mm -hmm. it right there, bro. Damn. I said it wrong, then. We got what we need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no okay, that's right, though. Yep, tomato, tomato. And look, and that that, that <laughs> chick that they uh that they uh that they're writing is, is so fat, you know what I'm saying? It it it, it got millions of billions of dollars <laughs> in debt stacked up. <laughs> you can't give it a pay it, man. Your debt's like America, right? You're making this man, right? This is uh, Ezekiel three and seventeen. That's how you know that judgment's gonna be so brutal, right? That judgment's gonna be so brutal. That's why we're praying we're protected from it. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That's right. They said they said over there in um in um like Oakland and shit like that, <laughs> San Francisco, say crime so bad, don't say they telling the people, you know what I'm saying, don't even leave their houses, bro. Yep. Say yep. crime say, Yo, yep. you can work from home, don't even come outside, bro. Just order and that's how the society is coming. So the only thing people are doing just sitting in the house, just ordering stuff, yep. bro. Scared to come yep. out. Yep. And you gotta be careful ordering stuff. But they had a rapper, I forget his name. Um, he had an interview and the guy was like, Yeah, why don't you just door dash? He said, We don't do that in Cali. He said, DoorDash, you have a woman pull up in a Honda uh, Sentra, and then she got two dudes with ski masks, you know, wow. telling you to give up. Yeah, DoorDash and Uber and all that. They don't wow. even do that out there. Yep. Yeah, when I worked for this delivery company, um, what's that local rapper? Man, had a little hit. He won, I think he won a Grammy, too. J. Cole. Nah. Uh -huh. um, it was with that group. Um, so, Petey Pablo? No, uh, Little Brother. Little Brother. That's the name. Yeah, they had, they, 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 it was a it was a group. But okay, they, they, okay. They, they, um, the main guys from here, but he like produced for a lot of people. But mm -hmm. he also had like an album. Okay. It did blow up. I'm, I, um, I'll find a song later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Yeah, but you know yeah, you, you, y'all you, you, know okay, who, you know what I'm okay. saying. Yeah. And um, I was dropping off. I said, "Oh man," I said, I said "Yeah, I know your face." Like, uh, like, like, yeah, I know you mm -hmm. from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And then he told me, I was like, oh, yeah, what's up, what's up man? You know, I gave him this package. And he was like, uh, when I was walking back to the, to, the, to the vehicle, he said, hey, man, don't let nobody know where I stay. Because that's real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real. Stay out there in, like, big-ass crib. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when you got to walk up the driveway, walk, walk, walk till you wow. get, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like, them tight cribs. Dang. But it, it's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. You know, they don't, you know what I mean? They, uh -huh. don't, they don't want you people to know. I thought he was being funny. Nah, he was being real. Or knife wonder. Knife wonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. How Little Brother and Rap Portraits made yeah. one of the year's best music documents. Yeah. Mm. One of them dudes, right? It's, uh, where he at? I, I think it's Dude, the Dread, right? Wait, on the, no, I don't think that's him. On the far left. Nah. He kind of tall and skinny, but that's, that's the thing, man. You know, he, he tall and skinny. Well, that's, that's for him, right? No, nah, I can't tell. Nah. Him, right? Nah, uh, he look tall and skinny. But yeah, like you said, nobody else, if you, if you know so, somebody know you live, yo, it's a rap. It's a rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've been showing off your career, you know what I'm saying? Showing everybody, you know what I'm saying? Now, we ain't talking about brothers, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about like people of the world. Yeah. They coming in, you know what I'm saying? They, they look, they're going to be casing the joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, yeah. That's why I'm glad no none of my family members know why I stay, bro. Mm. None of them, yeah, bro. Mm. Know what I'm saying? Yep. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, see, you can hide a book, you can have money in a book. That's him. Him. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, that's that him. might have been him up under that. Uh, yeah, up under that thing. thing. Yeah, 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 that's him. Oh yeah, that was yeah, him. Yeah, that's him. 
But shit, yeah, yo, yeah, look, it's, it's just come with you know, somebody know where you live, man. Yep. yep. Shit. He has food. He has food. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you don't think they're watching us? You don't think they, you know what I'm saying? Uh, doing what they in their corner minds to do, stock up and this, that, mm-hmm. and the third, mm-hmm. you know, get blinkies and all this mm-hmm. and that. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna deliver you in the times that we're living in, man. Right. <clears throat> Cause you don't even know if you're gonna be able to get to your blicky. Exactly. Right. You might wake up with somebody. You got you surrounded by blickies, but by the time you wake up, somebody already over you like this, looking yep. at you. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Motherfucker making keys. You know what I'm saying to get in your crib. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker got copies of your keys. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. Shit, your key makers. Yep. That's who's gonna be getting a whole lot of houses. Your key makers, people that actually make keys. Mm-hmm. They can be yep. in front of your house, make a key. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got the key yeah. machine. You know what I'm saying? In the mm-hmm. car. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They just going from house to house. They knock on the door, no saying nobody don't answer the door. It's keep knocking for like five, ten minutes, nobody don't answer the door. They say you know they cover that damn um doorbell thing, no saying. They say you know, no saying. Yep. Yeah. I saw a video where this guy was like, make sure if you have a garage, your garage is locked. Because people got in the yep. garage, you can just yep. press the button and come down. Yeah. But there's there's a lock yep. that goes. And yep. he was like, uh it, it's uh he created how you can just lift up people's garages. Yep. Well, the alarm going off and yep. everything. You see, you see yeah, that? You, oh, I didn't see it, but you can stick your hand under and just lift it up. But, it was but, some garages. Well, that too, but he uh-huh. he he did it like small, like oh, small type thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And had to go in, and then and the, uh, it it was uh one of his friends, uh, Holmes, and he went in, and went lifted up, just walking around like he could have stole something. Damn. And, he did. And, and, nah, he didn't, and closed it back. He said, "Did you know what's in your house, bro?" He was like, "What? Oh." See what I'm saying? See? There's people out here like that, man. Yeah, yeah. And then there's people just like, yo, fuck it, just kick the door in. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, that, that's what's really going to happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So all hell, bring it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's time consumed. Doing uh, all that. Yeah. We're warning you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans what's coming according to the Bible, man. What, and whether you're here for a bear, you know? Mm-hmm. Does that in the quote? Oh, uh, no, no, I got some more. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give the warning from me, which goes into instruction. Mm-hmm. And we can tell you the instruction according to the Bible, the do's and the don'ts. But the majority of our people, they don't, they don't follow directions, man. So they're, they're going off. So therefore, the Lord's going to have the, have a severe consequences for their actions, man. Mm-hmm. Just like at a job. If you got a job, you had a job, you used to give an instruction to do something, you do it wrong. There's consequences for that, man. Mm-hmm. You're not following the instruction, and it's right there in front of your face, mm-hmm. step by step. So how much more y'all about Shema Shah in this spiritual investment, man? That's mm-hmm. right. That judgment is going to be severe and very brutal, man, pure hell. Find those who's wicked. Ain't going to be nobody to help you either. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Just another quick warning session over for them. Israel, seek the Lord, because it's soon coming. Ain't going to be no help out here. Mm-hmm. It's going to just be straight up lawlessness and chaos, you That's know? Right, yeah. You have been warned. Yep. Ain't nobody can close us out. Hey, so that being said, before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who were well, and Shalom to all you Akim, you Akwa. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.